What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Hope everybody's having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. We got to talk about Joel Embiid and the disrespect. It has gone absolutely too far to that guy, okay? Not being an all-star starter is a joke. I want to talk about how awesome Joel has been this season, how deserving he was to be an all-star starter, and just how how bad of a how bad of a look this is for the NBA, okay? Before I do, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and if you enjoy this kind of content, please like the video. But let's talk about Joel because, honestly... There is a very, very good argument that Joel has been the very best player in the Eastern Conference this season. There's a very good argument for that. And if not the best, then it's probably second best. And it's it's terrible. The guy's leading the league in scoring. 34 points per game, 10 rebounds, 4 assists, 1.7 blocks, 1.1 steals. What more do you need? 53% from the field, 35 from 3, and 86 from the free throw line? Like... Nobody else is really doing that, if we're being completely honest here. Elite level defense, contests the most two-point shots uh, per game, I believe. Like, he's he's active on defense. He hustles, sets really good screens. Face up, can post you up. He can dunk on you. He can score. He can just shoot a three over the top. Literally has the bag for everything, and he's not an all-star starter while leading a team that is the two-seed in the East and is probably the hottest team in basketball right now. The dude gave you multiple 50-point games, several 40-point games, uh, 30 pretty much every single night, if we're being completely honest. 47 points and 18 rebounds against the MVP favorite in Jokic right now. Jokic is awesome, so we're not taking anything away from him because this has nothing to do with him. But if you're looking at the Eastern Conference, who really deserved it more than Joel? This is why the All-Star teams and All-NBA teams need to be positionless. It needs to be the best five players should be starting. Okay, because when you're picking a team, you're usually going to take the best players. That's kind of how they draft nowadays. Best player available, right? So why is the all-star team not like that? We're going to look at the all-star team right now. What is it? I think it was Kyrie Irving, Donovan Mitchell, Jason Tatum, Giannis, and Kevin Durant. Okay, all those guys are awesome. They're deserving as all-stars, right? But if you're telling me that you're taking uh, pretty much any of those five right now over Joel this season, I don't agree. If you want to say, oh, Joel missed a lot of games, so did Kevin Durant, so did Giannis Antetokounmpo. Donovan's missed some games. Kyrie misses games. Tatum is pretty much the only one that's been healthy for the most part, okay? And Tatum is my favorite player in the entire league, but this season, I don't think he's been better than Joel. I don't think there's a huge gap, but I don't think he's been better. He's still been amazing, but that's just saying how great Joel has been. If you want to say that, like, oh, maybe Joel's not clutch, top three in clutch points per game. Get rid of that argument. My, my whole thing is that every box you need to check for being an all-star starter, he checks it twice. And he didn't make it in because it's they have it set as positions. But which, which is really weird to me because none of those guys that made it over him are a center. And so I just, I don't get it. Ugh, I don't get it at all. Because you can, the only guy I think you can honestly argue over him in the East was Kevin Durant. And that's because Kevin's a, just a freak. It is what it is. I think he's been better than Giannis. I already said I think he's been better than Tatum. Donovan Mitchell's been amazing, but I think he's been better than Donovan. Like I said, it's not a huge gap between him and most of these guys, but there's a gap. Now, if you want to say, well, you know, I don't like his play style because of the free throws and a little bit of foul baiting. Honestly, sure, there are times where he foul baits for sure. But to me, if you go back and look at him, probably like 90% of the time he got hacked. Dudes that are that strong and that big, they get fouled pretty much every single time. So whether they call it on, whether they didn't call it or call it, I don't really care. When he's on and he's going, you're seeing 59 point games, 50 point games, 45 point games, 47 and 18. Like you're seeing these just tremendous performances, and there's really not that many guys in history that have been able to play like him. He's a a big that plays back to the basket. He can he can face up, faces up a lot, has a good pump fake, gets to the line. He's efficient at the line, can shoot the three, defends the rim. Uh, can switch onto forwards. There's not that many guys that are doing this. It's like it's not like he's on a, a a ten seed in the East. They're top two and like the hottest team in the league, and they're not very far behind the one seed. So it's the fact that he didn't make this team as a starter. Sure, he's gonna make it as a as a bench player. We all, that's a foregone conclusion. But it honestly just kind of feels like a vendetta against him because you've had the MVP voting over the past few years, and he's been awesome. So is Jokic. I'm not getting into that at all. But to not even be a starter in this All-Star game when he's legitimately been the best or second best Eastern Conference player 
is sad. It's terrible. The NBA needs to look at how it's doing its voting because year after year after year, we see it happen to somebody that was deserved, either doesn't make the team in general or isn't a starter when he should have been. This this can cost players money in the long run. Yeah, I'm sure you're talking the difference between $180 million and $240 million, but it's, you know, it's their money. They've earned it. They've put in the work for all these years. And then for some BS voting system like this, where me being a Laker fan, and yes, like I said, Tatum is my favorite player. So Lakers, Celtics, whatever, you can go with that. Austin Reeves being like seventh and forward voting, dude, this is terrible. And I get that it's fan voting to an extent and then like GMs and then players vote. But let's be honest, Players aren't really paying that much attention to it. They they vote for their own players. They vote for their own teammates. Like there are dudes that barely ever even play and are getting votes, and it's just it's a joke. I I don't like the all star voting process. I think the whole thing is stupid. But Joel definitely deserved to be a starter. Do you agree with me on that? Do you think Joel deserved to be a starter for the Eastern team? Obviously, they're doing it different now. With uh, the captains are going to pick their teams before the draft, which I think is really cool. But you know, I think Joel definitely should have been a starter. Uh, he's top two or three at worst in MVP right now, and that's that alone. And he's not a starter, and he's top two or three in MVP. Yeah, that's a joke. Well, yeah, I just wanted to pop that off because Joel's been awesome this season, and I feel like he gets hated on a lot and like just a lot of uh, negative negativity towards him just because maybe sometimes the way he plays and stuff like that. But honestly, I, I think his whole career arc and everything that he's done to this point is awesome, and I want to give him some recognition, although you know, you are going to see him get recognition because he is in the top two or three in the MVP voting but somehow didn't make it as an all-star starter. Doesn't quite make a lot of sense. But if you like this kind of content, please like the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I post content like this all the freaking time. And uh, yeah, that'd be really cool if you did that. So yeah, I'm done here. Thanks for watching. Peace.